5. Scary Poisonous Creatures That Can Live In Your Home The world is full of terrifying and poisonous creatures. It's kind of crazy to think that there are insects out there smaller than a human fingernail that can bring us to our knees with nothing but a single bite. But poison is a crazy thing. Any of these deathly powerful bugs could be under your sheets right now waiting to strike. These are 5 scary poisonous creatures that can live in your home. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. Black Widow Spider It's the spider so terrifyingly intense Marvel named one of their most iconic female characters after them. We are of course talking about the Captain Marvel Spider. Nah, not really. It's the Black Widow. You will no doubt have heard of them. Of all the deadly creepy crawlies in the world, these are among the most iconic. Though their true name is Latrodectus, the nickname Black Widow better captures the deadly toxic nature of these poisonous arachnids. These small spiders have an unusually potent venom containing the neurotoxin Latrotoxin, which causes the condition Latrodectism, both named after the genus. Female widow spiders have unusually large venom glands and their bite can be particularly harmful to large vertebrates, including humans. Only the bites of the females are dangerous to humans. Simply put, you do not want to mess with these things. Their nickname was inspired by the prevalence of sexual cannibalism in the females. Basically, after mating, the women will eat the males. Not always, but still. It's a heck of a risk just to get laid. Black widow spiders prefer to nest near the ground in dark, undisturbed areas, usually in small holes produced by animals or around construction openings or wood piles. Indoor nests are in dark, undisturbed places, such as under desks or furniture or in a basement. The spider frequently hangs upside down near the center of its web and waits for insects to blunder in and get stuck. Then, before the insect can extricate itself, the spider rushes over to envenomate and wrap it in silk. To feed, the mouth pulses digestive juices over the prey, which is liquefied and internalized by capillary action, allowing the slurry to be sucked back up into the mouth. Their prey consists of small insects such as flies, mosquitoes, grasshoppers, beetles, and caterpillars. If the spider perceives a threat, it quickly lets itself down into the ground on a safety line of silk. If you see one, make sure it does not perceive you as a threat. The Black Widow may not be much bigger than the average paperclip, but it's certainly more dangerous. According to National Geographic, its venom is 15 times more potent than that of a rattlesnake. Though contrary to common myths, few people ever perish at the hands of the small spider. Rather, a Black Widow bite can cause muscle aches, nausea, and difficulty breathing. They're not even the only type of widow spider that could have earned a place on this list. We of course have to give an honorable mention to Natasha Romanoff's embarrassed sister, the Red Widow. Now, the good news is the Red Widow spider can only be found in certain parts of Florida. The bad news is that should you get bitten by one, the venom is a neurotoxin that could potentially cause permanent muscle spasms. It's probably best to avoid widow spiders of all kinds. Number 4. Buck Moth Larva the buck moth is a common insect found in oak forests, stretching in the United States from the southeast to the northeast, and as far as West Texas and Kansas. But if you live in that neck of the woods, they can be found in your home as well, and trust us when we say, you're going to want to avoid these things. The larvae typically emerge in a single generation in the spring. The larvae are covered in hollow spines that are attached to a poison sac. The poison can cause symptoms ranging from itching and burning sensations to nausea. Whatever you do, do not touch one of these things. Have you ever accidentally burnt yourself with a cigarette or on a kitchen stove? Well, that's what it feels like to be stung by a buck moth. They have venomous bristles along their backs. Don't step on them barefooted. Don't let them fall into the collar of your jumper or t-shirt. The sensation of the poison has been described as a deep burn that gets worse by the second. The source of the sting will develop painfully itchy blisters. A person stung by a poisonous caterpillar should immediately wash the affected area to remove any insect hairs and poison that remain. An ice pack will help reduce swelling, and creams and lotions containing steroids will lessen the discomfort and promote healing. Persons known to be sensitive to insect stings should consult a physician. Number 3. Spanish Fly Now, when we say, poisonous creatures that can live in your home, we obviously don't know where you live. If you live, to quote Sebastian, under the sea, then a pufferfish is the most poisonous creature that can live in your home. But if you live in Spain, 
The most poisonous creature that can live in your home is the seemingly humble Spanish fly. A Spanish fly is a type of blister beetle that produces a toxin called cantharidin to defend against predators. The toxin is absorbed by the skin on contact and causes terrible blistering and burning pain. If the beetle is eaten, the toxin causes ulcers, bleeding, and blistering throughout the digestive tract and can even result in death. One gram is enough to cause symptoms in 5,000 people. Symptoms are a painful erection in men, bloody diarrhea, and intestinal problems. There have even been causes of damage to the heart, kidneys, or nervous system. But don't worry, you can actually get your revenge. If one bites you, you can bite it back. There is a culinary use for the Spanish fly. I mean, don't actually bite one, please. But in Morocco and other parts of North Africa, spice blends known as Ras El Hanout sometimes included Spanish fly as a minor ingredient, although the sale of this in Moroccan spice markets was banned in the 1990s. We're not sure why this decision was made, and we're not going to do any more research because it's 2 in the morning and I just want to go to bed, but we imagine the poison almost definitely has something to do with it. Although, having just mentioned bed, Spanish fly is also the name of an aphrodisiac. But if you see one in your home, don't bottle it in preparation of bedtime fun. The product Spanish fly contains no actual Spanish flies. It's merely a potent blend of herb extract, so don't make that mistake. Again. Number 2. Africanized honeybee. You've no doubt heard of killer bees. Well, their real name is the Africanized honeybee, but just because they're not actually called killer bees doesn't mean they're any less deadly than if they had been called killer bees. These terrifying things were first introduced to America after an experiment gone wrong, according to the Smithsonian. Well done, guys. In the 1950s, colonies of African honeybees were brought into Brazil for crossbreeding in order to increase honey output. Unfortunately, some of the African queen bees and worker bees made an escape and bred instead with European honeybees, creating the killer bee hybrid. By 1990, these killer bugs found their way into southern Texas and in 2014, scientists documented them in San Francisco. What makes these bees killer is the fact that they are 10 times faster than European honeybees and are much more aggressive. Africanized bees respond to colony disturbance more quickly and in greater numbers and with more stinging, according to research from 1982. In the past 50 years, the brutal bugs have been responsible for hundreds of deaths, so make sure to keep your distance. The problem is that may prove harder than you'd like. While the average bee may give up if you run fast enough, the Africanized honeybee will give chase, enjoying the hunt. If one came after you, you would think you had done something to personally insult the poor thing. These are bees with a vendetta. Though the poison in their sting isn't necessarily much worse than a regular bee, the vigor with which they attack is what makes them so scary. The reason Africanized bee attacks are deadlier, explains Dr. May Brennebaum, a professor at the school, has more to do with the sheer number of stings than the actual bee venom. She went on to say, Bee venom is a cocktail of biologically active components that are designed to inflict pain. The honeybee stings only defensively. They don't try to kill. They try to educate, Brennebaum said. The pain is meant to warn predators, in this case, the humans that disturb the hive. The venom also sends a signal to fellow bees, marking the predator. They're also big on teaming up. Killer bee attacks are so much more aggressive because when a killer beehive is disturbed, the entire colony attacks. By comparison, when a European honey beehive is disturbed, only about 10% of the bees will attack. Number 1. Sack Spiders We started with a spider, so we end with a spider. Things have gone horrifyingly full circle. If you live in New England and the Midwest, you should keep your eyes peeled for the yellow sack spider, unless you want to endure 10 hours of agony. These small arachnids have a vicious bite, and what's worse, they will attack without any provocation at all. These eight-legged sadists will bite you just for the fun of it. At least the Black Widow has the decency to only bite you if you bother it, but oh no, not these things. These things will come at you if you are just casually drinking a coffee and reading a book. A sack spider bite is extremely painful for 10 solid hours and results in severe bruising and blistering. Better known by the name Kiracanthium, Sack spiders are usually pale in color with an abdomen ranging from beige to yellow. Their venom is purportedly necrotic, causing swelling and lesions in inflicted humans. Some people insist, though it's worth noting there's no scientific evidence to back this up, that yellow sack spiders are attracted to the smell of gasoline. An unspecified Kiracanthium species is reportedly attracted to the smell of petroleum, 
and has caused problems by weaving webs inside the canister vent of particular models of Mazda vehicles, resulting in blockages and buildup of pressure that could potentially cause fuel leakage from the fuel tank and an increased risk of fire. Mazda issued a voluntary recall of Mazda 6 models built between 2010 and 2012 to fit them with software which would alert drivers if problems were developing. So, not only are you at risk of finding them in your home, you're also at risk of finding them in your car. It seems nowhere is safe from these little things. Which of these poisonous little critters would you be most terrified to find in your home? And have you been bitten by any of them before? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!